Hello gang. Hello. That was really high pitched. Hello gang friends. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to do Mr. Krabs from Spongebob. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Um, before we start, I have to show you the new Madame Glam collection because holy macaroni and cheese with little bits of bacon and a side of garlic bread. It's amazing. They've got, I hope this is new packaging because I love it. The gold on the brown just looks gorgeous. It's all made from recycled stuff and I'm, I love that. Makes me very happy. So we have, oh, look at the colours. This is the House of Colour collection. Um, so we'll look at them and then we'll do a quick swatch. Um, you can, it's, it's, what's the day today? The 14th. So you are still in time to use the link in the description to this video to get to Madame Glam, my link, and the code MissJoe50 for 50% off. Half price. Get this collection. It is bananas gorgeous this one the star got big plans for this one it w it does include stars as well <laughs> most of my plans include stars um so yeah so you can go and get 50 percent off this collection now it's so gorgeous or 50 percent off whatever else you fancy on the website top up on top coats build up your base coat collection do whatever you want and even if if you're in the uk there's still time because I presume, well, is it, I think it's by US times. So we've got maybe till five in the morning. Oh, maybe it does do it by which country you're in. I don't know. But is, there's still time is where I'm going with this. Um, so these are the colours. I've managed to skip over trying to describe them. Yay. Um, but they're all absolutely gorgeous. We do kind of use one of them today. Um, we're going to swatch them quickly. I'll just show you the first coat because they're super opaque so we don't really need to see the second coat and then I'll top them and then we'll just ogle at them for a few seconds and then we're going to do Mr. Crab and I did kind of want him to be the last of the Spongebob series um, just because when I sat down I was like oh another Spongebob character but I know a few of you want to see um, Plankton so I'll do Plankton for you um, and then we'll move on to another series where I think I might try figuring out how to draw them myself because obviously I've been following um, Ball Pit Addict's tutorials to draw, you know, how to draw them in the first place. But I'm thinking maybe I could try and apply the same technique, you know, just break things down into shapes for doing another series kind of know what I want to do but maybe if you have a series you know if I'm going to be doing characters on Wednesdays um, then if you have a series that you would like to see let me know in the comments um, and if I want to do it as well then we'll do it <laughs> if I don't not happening although I did I did want to do Spongebob's house um, so maybe there'll be two more for Spongebob. Oh, look at these. Look at... Oh, I think I might need to change the lighting and contrast or something to show the colours better. Because the red, the pink and the orange are completely different to each other. But they just kind of look all the same here. And the, the Gemini's heart is, is sort of brighter, I think. But they're just all gorgeous. I highly recommend them. And obviously you can get 50% off any Madame Glam stuff um, for the rest of today. So hurry up. What are you waiting for? And now we're going to do an ombre with royal pink. And this is Lightborn. So we'll pop them both on there. Don't go too mad with the yellow because yellow, regardless of brand is a bit of a bastard and it likes to crinkle in a lamp quite easily so make sure it's um, not too thick so we're using the Madame Glam Ombre Brush and we're doing two coats of that now we're taking the brown gel paint here we go ready concentrate we're going to do a triangle 
Again, this is a ball pit addict tutorial that I'm following. Kudos to her, she's amazing. So we're doing a triangle and then we're curving each side so that his head isn't pyramid shaped. That's it, ignore the eyes. We're gonna do them again in a second. Now we're going to do a bean. So we're doing a curve and then another curve for the bottom and then we'll just curve the sides to meet up. So just make note of the top curve was just above halfway between the height of the triangle. The bottom of the bottom curve came just a tiny bit below the bottom of the triangle and then curve the sides to join up. Now we'll do the eyes because I didn't like those. We're going to do a straight line on either side of the top of his head just like that and then we're going to curve because there are guides we're going to curve each side and bring that curve down sort of so it's narrower at the bottom I think I've made his eyes too fat he has fat eyes um but it, it's fine I think I think we pulled it off so we've just curved the top of those as well nice and easy so far and then we have another curved line. And I like to start from the center and work out just because I find I can do it more even that way than trying one side to the other. Uh, underneath the jelly bean, kidney bean. And then another curve. So it's all just kind of curves from here on out. And then another curve down here, but not, not all the way along just in the middle, that's his crotch. <laughs> and then we're adding two lines to do his trouser legs. Little line down, little line across. And then at the bottom of that, we'll do an upside down triangle. Although I don't have room for the whole triangle, so we'll just do a line. There we go, scary part's over. Now we're going to mark out where his belt will be. So we've got a square for the buckle and then two curves to come and meet it. I'm not going to add his eyelashes or are they eyebrows? Eye bits. Oh, I'm wiping the top of the trouser line, the top of this curved line, because I thought it was too low down. And then we're going to move it up so that his trousers were thicker than his where he what's going to be his shirt um so i just wiped that off and moved it up a bit and then we add three little triangles um just to the left of the center well the the, the first one i did was kind of bang smack center and then work left and then cure the life out of it now we're taking airy season oh showing you my nails because look at me with sparkly nails who the fuck am i uh, and we're going to use that for his eyes. And you can sort of make the shape a bit better when you're filling in. Um, but obviously you've got to sort of cover most of the outline. Although we will be outlining again. So um, you can cover the brown outline when we outline with black. But we're just going to fill his eyes in. And then we will move on to his mouth. We're using the red gel paint so we're going to outline the jelly bean oh um, oh yeah look see i don't let it flick off i'm slow mowing this here that was just a slow action replay whatever it's called because i don't let the brush ping off when we get to the end kind of stop and move back in the other direction or lift up in the other direction so it doesn't pull off uh ping off and flick everywhere and then, so we're going all the way around the mouth, thick-ish, um, because that's how it is. <laughs> because inside we're going to do white for his teeth, his toothies. So this will be his, yeah, his lips, I guess. And then we can fill in all the other red bits, which is everything above it. This bit here goes in front of the eye. But then on this bit, so the eye on the right, I bought into the face a bit, whereas the eye on the left, no, no, no. 
because here we're going to go around where we brought the eye in and just make it sort of a straight line across the bottom of it because that eye's in front and the other one's on the other side of his face. So we'll just fill in all the red bits and just bringing the red up to his eye here. So that one, make sure you keep in front. And then his neck, I'm just going to do a line at an angle there to join the curved line, the brown curved line. Um, I think hers went off the page, off the neck. Why do I say off the page? Off the nail um, at this point. Or maybe I just couldn't see the angle, but we're just joining it with a little sort of, um, well, just with a straight line. And we also need to do his foots. <laughs> and I think I went a bit too thick with the red on his face. And you, you might see that it's sort of, it didn't so much crinkle as it did. Well, I suppose it did crinkle a little bit but not a thick crinkle like a thin crinkle um but it's fine we won't see that when we're finished and then we're adding in the middle triangle we're making it white his which is his t-shirt under his shirt which does actually sit a bit lower than his collar um but i only kind of made note of that after the fact but it's fine to just do it on the same level the the widest part the top of the triangle is on the same level as where his shirt will um, end and then his smile as well we're going to fill in this is with the white gel paint how is everybody all right i'm um lying on my bed i've got a client shortly um and it's a gorgeous hot sunny day we've had just a string of clear blue sky baking hot sunshine the other day and it was all over the news <laughs> it was hotter here than it was in Tenerife which is a, a sort of a popular holiday spot for um Brits oh I'm making his smile a bit bigger there but then I end up changing it um but we'll talk about that when we get to it and now we're going to fill in his Oh, I have to move his belt because I moved his trousers. The top, I pulled his trousers up. So now I need to move the belt. But I'd already cured it in the outline, the brown outline. So it will just get covered when we um, fill in his trousers. So this is the black gel paint. We'll do his belt. Um, yeah, so it was supposedly hotter than Tenerife the other day. And it was just everywhere. The papers, on the news. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's hotter than Tenerife. Mow the lawn, jet wash the patio, wipe down the garden furniture. We're eating outside tonight. <laughs> um, it's been glorious. Although I am dreading the um, the likely imminent um, after effects of having really hot weather. I'll be fine. It's be fine. Be fine. So we're mixing dynamic blue gel paint and euphoria. Um to make the blue for his top could have just used euphoria could have just used dynamic blue decided to mix them i like mixing things when i'm doing these characters to try and get it as close as um the picture of them um, and also i like to use gel paints for this so mixing a bit of a gel color in with gel paint gives a more gel paint consistency to paint with because it's um super opaque and it's it's thick but thin you know it's thick but it's not like gloopy gel thick and it just it you only have to do one coat which is nice because i mean you wouldn't really want to have to do two coats of all of this not that it would matter if you did sometimes i do i think his trousers did i do two coats of maybe because oh so i'm mixing <laughs> for some reason three colors mystique um, Glorious, which is from the new collection, and Euphoria to make his trouser colour. Because are they blue? Are they purple? Are they blurple? Are they light blurple? Are they dark blurple? Are they more blurple? Are they more blurple? You know? So I just mixed until um, I was happy. <laughs> and we're just going to go all over his trousers. Um, and even though I do like mixing colors to get the exact color i want it's it can be a bit 
what was oh yeah i was wondering there why do his legs seem so long um but once we filled them in it didn't look like that long a gap between the bottom of his trousers or the, the crotch 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 i can never remember which is one which is which crotch um <laughs> it's a horrible word um it looked like his leg was really long but it's not once we fill it in there's not too big a gap between the the I'm going to say the, the bottom middle of his trousers. I don't want to keep referring to a crab's crotch. Um, where was I going? Oh, yeah. Mixing can be a bit wasteful because you do, there's such a small area to cover and using three colours to mix. I had way more than I needed. Um, but I was just feeling a bit mixy, feeling a bit faffy. And you know how I like to faff. I like to faff like a fucking champion. <laughs> So his trousers are filled in. We're going to mix the tiniest bit of brown in with the red to get a brownie red <laughs> for his eyelashes. Or are they eyebrows? Do crabs have eyebrows? <laughs> Do crabs have eyelashes? I don't know. But that was just three little um, dashes sort of thing. But when I did, when I put my brush down at the top to start one of the lashes... I let it sit for a second just so that it was thicker. Because if I'd just done a straight line, it would have been a bit thin at the top. So I let it sit for a second, then pulled down. So it was the same thickness all the way. Does that make sense? I think, um, yeah, if you, just, if you just paint a straight line, it's going to be a bit thinner where you start. But if you let it sit for a sec or just put a bit of pressure down, then you can carry on and have it the same thickness the whole way through. I wonder if sometimes some things I say only make sense if you're doing it at the exact time I'm saying it. Um, I'm now taking the ultra liner. We have done a yellow using the yellow gel paint around a square around his belt. There's no gap between the black and the yellow on his belt, which was handy. There's no sort of purple gap between it. So we just did a square. And now we're outlining using the Ultra Liner from Madame Glam. And we're outlining the triangles. Um, you can just see the triangle. Well, I can just see the triangles through the blue. But um, we filled the white in so we know where to put them. And then we'll outline the top of his trousers and everywhere else. Just going to do a lot of outlining. I will say that... From the very beginning, even from doing the brown outline, when I did the triangle, the very first thing we did, and then curved the side bits, I full cured. And then when I did the jelly bean, I full cured. Eyes, full cured. Just everything as I went. Because if I knew, yes, that's exactly where I want it, that's where I didn't, if I messed up the next bit, I didn't want to have to wipe everything off. Um, oh, his trousers. So that, his, oh, his bloody crotch, the U shape where that is, goes into the, the rest of his trousers a bit. And then obviously we outline the bottom of his trousers. Here we're going to do two straight lines. One's a bit longer on the right and then join them up. But I changed this. This looks different in a sec because I made it a bit more curved. Yeah, see, it's curved a bit. And I've outlined the yellow buckle which I, I had to do off camera because I just couldn't get it right in the position where it is to be on screen and then I did two little extra dashes coming out from the u shape that is his crotch <laughs> how I can't think of another way to say that I think we're done with that now so it's all good but yeah two little extra lines into the trouser legs because I looked at a picture of him and that and, he, and that's what he has and it just gives that kind of uh, crease in the trousers but they were just little flicks and then outline the jelly bean and I do change this see the shape's a bit different now so I I corrected it because I just thought it was too fat on one side and then we're doing a really thin line through the middle of the jelly bean and then tiny little thin lines um, which just cross over the line <laughs> just cross over the the line we've just done for his teeth and that did take a few attempts and then a line underneath the jelly bean 
and then uh, just a U shape, just a shallow curve. And then we can start outlining his mouth. And this is where we start to take things into the colour. Um, so where the where his mouth at the bottom, his lips sort of the outside of the jelly bean, that came into the red neck a little bit. And this line here came into the red at the top of his head um, and just under the green eye. And then this eye had a black line under it, just a curve so that it looks like it's sunken into a sort of socket. But it did have a thicker bit to the left. So you see the eye we're outlining now. When we get here, <laughs> there, it was just a curve at the bottom of the line in the red, but it was almost like it was in a hole. So we just did a bit thicker to one side of the curve underneath the eye to sort of create a bit more depth. It was sunken in. Um, oh, this all happens so quickly and it's it's annoying because it, it, it wasn't quick to paint. Um, but it looks quick here. But yeah, just things like that, like the outline of his lips. Like I say, the, the top lip on the right here, the line came into the red and went underneath the eye, not touching, under, not touching the eye, but underneath the eye and finished just before the eye finished. Does that make sense? The bottom of the eye, just little things like that. And then we've outlined his eyelashes and his nose. I'm using brown and it was down, up, down, up, but the down, up, down, and then let it flick up and just kind of wisp away. That was super easy, just a wiggle. And we've added two little highlights in his eyes and we're going to really faintly outline his nose. And so we're going down, up, down, and then letting it wisp off with the brown that's wisped off. Um, but very, very, very thin because it is. <laughs> so I had hardly any product on my brush. And we've added a couple of purple swirly, SpongeBob swirly things. And we're going to matte top. And that will be Mr. Krabs. <gasps> I like him. I'm quite happy with him. His eyes are too fat. I think they should have been a bit taller and a bit skinnier. But uh, didn't have the room. So that's him and here he is with the rest of the gang. Um, you can find all those videos on my channel. I'll link them all in the description as well for all these characters. Next up, um, Plankton, hopefully, and then maybe the Pineapple House or maybe we'll just move on because I'm, I'm kind of bored of Spongebob now. I appreciate you being here so, so much. I appreciate the um, ball pit addict tutorials thank you for those if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and have a lovely day bye bye <laughs>